Now it's time for the children's sermon. And if you've got kids or youth nearby who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over. I've got something special to share with them today. Hey guys, I'm Pastor David, one of your associate pastors, and I get to share with you the children's sermon today. And um, I'm actually going to share with you a book that I'll talk about in just a moment. Um, this, this Sunday, we're still in the Christmas season. Now, Christmas Day, of course, was last Monday, but we're in the Christmas season. Anybody know for how long? That's right, 12 days. We even sing a song about that, the 12 days of Christmas. And so we're still thinking about Christmas because it's such an important day. And I what I'd like for us to do today, I want to share with you this book, Twas the Evening of Christmas. And it tells the Christmas story, what happened on that night, it tells it in a little bit different way. And it starts out, Twas the evening of Christmas, when all through the town, every inn was so crowded, no room could be found. Tired Mary and Joseph, who went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable floor. And here you can see the picture of Mary and Joseph. Thank goodness, said Mary, who tiptoed inside, the mice saw the donkey and scurried to hide. The rest of the creatures all cuddled up tight in hopes that they might have a calm, peaceful night. The pigeons were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of breadcrumbs danced around their heads. The cows closed their eyes and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently the lambs made no sound. You can see the, the pigeons and the cows and the sheep there. The moon through the trees was just starting to glow with a glimmer of light on the stable below when quite by surprise came a newborn babe's cry that woke all the animals sleeping nearby. Up jumped the cows and the oxen and sheep. Up popped the pigeons, aroused from their sleep. They all came to gaze at the small baby boy as his mama and papa hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in the manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet, as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. And out in the fields, taking care of their sheep, some shepherds were just getting ready to sleep, when all of a sudden they had such a fright as a whole choir of angels lit up the night. Here you can see the shepherds and the angels up in the sky. But the song of the angels, the words that they said, soon let the men know they had nothing to dread. Dear shepherds, it's wonderful news that we bring. A Savior is born. He is Jesus the King. They ran to the stable and peeked through the door and saw something never imagined before. There in a manger, a baby boy lay, no blankets, no pillow, his bed made of hay. And to that small stable came three splendid kings with gifts for their baby, all beautiful things. They jumped from their camels and knelt at his feet with their frankincense, gold, and myrrh that smelled sweet. Here you can see the three kings, the three wise men that came. The stable was filled with a wonderful light as stars above Bethlehem twinkle so bright. And high in the heavens, God whispered, My son, you'll bring hope to the world and love everyone. 
Then back to their slumbers the animals curled, amazed at this babe who had entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. As Mary laid Jesus asleep in the hay, she thought about all that had happened that day. The mice heard her whisper as she tucked him in tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all a good night. So yeah, we celebrate Christmas for 12 days. So we're still thinking about Christmas, even though maybe some of the decorations are gone and the presents have all been open and some of the toys have already been broken. But we're still thinking about Christmas because it's God's wonderful gift to the world. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. God sent Jesus to be our Savior and our Lord. And that's the real meaning of Christmas. Let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you that as we celebrate Christmas, we're celebrating the birth of our Savior, the greatest gift ever given, the first and best Christmas present ever given, the gift that you gave to the world. We thank you also, Lord, for all of the children and youth of our church and community and their parents and families. We pray your blessings on them. In Jesus' name, amen.